Hey, you got a minute? Let's talk about the Boston Tea Party. Now, to talk about the Boston Tea Party, you have to go back to the Townshend Acts, which were repealed in April 1770. When those were repealed, there was still a small tax on tea. Didn't seem to bother loyalists too much, and patriots would just drink smuggled tea in from Holland. So in 1773, Lord North instituted the Tea Act, which was an attempt to save the East India Company that was hurt after the American boycott of goods. After the boycott, there was 17 million pounds of tea sitting in warehouses in London that had to be sold. So the Tea Act had a tax on tea, but because there was so much of it, they were able to sell it cheaper than the smuggled Dutch tea. And it became the only tea that was allowed to be sold. They thought they could fool Americans because the tea was so cheap, why wouldn't they want to buy it? Although it was taxed, so the Americans were not happy. When the ships arrived in the colonies, many of them had to be turned back because angry protesters met them at the docks and they went back to London with the tea still in their cargo holds. In Boston, however, the governor ordered the British Navy to blockade the harbor and insisted that those three tea ships be unloaded before they were allowed to leave. Well, that's exactly what happened. On December 16th, 1773, 50 men dressed as Mohawk Indians from a patriot group called the Sons of Liberty took their tomahawks and they unloaded the tea. They smashed open the tea chests and they threw over 92,000 pounds of tea into the harbor, destroying it. That's enough tea to fill 18 and a half million tea bags. The present cost of the destroyed tea was about $1 million. Nothing else on those cargo ships was touched. John Adams, after the destruction of the tea, said, The destruction of the tea is so bold, so daring, so firm, that it must have important consequences. And boy, was he right. Oh, time's up. See you next time when you got a minute.